I'm Guillotine, and welcome to Geekly Trends, where I'm going to give a few quick thoughts on some of the geeky trends that have gone on in the past week. Recently, Hugh Jackman has mentioned that he's not so sure he's going to be retiring from Wolverine after all. Especially with Ryan Reynolds' interest in having Wolverine and Deadpool team up, he's kind of on the fence about whether he's going to finally retire from the role. Hugh Jackman has been doing Wolverine since 2000, so that's near 20 years that he's been doing the same character, and he's put a lot into it. He's done a great job with it. He's done a great job for the X-Men Films franchise. He's part of the big reason that we're now in this big golden age of comic book movies that we are in. I think Hugh Jackman has earned a little leeway to do what he wants in regards to the role without getting a lot of criticism. If he wants to retire from the role, he's more than earned his retirement. He's done a great job, put a lot into the role, and I think he's earned that retirement. But if he changes his mind and he wants to keep going, I think he's totally earned that decision to want to stay in the role for a little bit longer. I respect his decision if he wants to retire or if he wants to change his mind and not retire. I'm sure there are other actors out there who would love to be Wolverine, who would do a great job as Wolverine, but Hugh Jackman has done so much for it, I really feel like he has that kind of leeway to kind of change his mind on what he wants to do. Recently, a list has gone out confirming all of the characters so far that are going to be in Avengers Infinity War. I'm not talking about the characters that are on the list, I'm talking about the fact that Infinity War is still a pretty far way out. It's definitely a little closer than it was, say, uh, after Age of Ultron, but we still have a little bit of time before that happens, and they've already said, and we already know, so many characters are going to be involved in it that I don't think we need to have, I don't think that we need to be getting excited of the characters that are and aren't going to be in it when there's so much happening before Infinity Wars even begins. We still have the new Guardians of the Galaxy, we still have Thor Ragnarok, we still have Spider-Man, we have a lot of different movies and even TV shows that are, that should be connected to it happening before that happens. So I think let's pump the brakes on the hype for Infinity War until we actually get, you know, when it's like right around the corner. Speaking of Infinity War, Peter Dinklage is also reported to be joining the cast of Infinity War. His role has not been disclosed. A lot of people think he's going to be playing MODOK. It'll be interesting to see what part he ultimately plays. He's already played Trask in the X-Men films, but that's not a Marvel Studios franchise, so, he, so he'll probably be playing someone completely different. Finally, speaking of Fox, finally, speaking of Fox, they've gone and said that with the success of bringing back other shows and kind of renewing them, they're definitely open to bringing back Firefly if Joss Whedon is open to it. It's no secret that I personally have been wanting uh, Firefly to come back for a very long time. I think it's one of the best shows ever made. I love the film. I would love to see an animated series. I think personally that would work best to bring Firefly back. But with Fox being behind them wanting to bring it back, my only only thought is Fox can go f themselves. I feel like Joss Whedon and the cast and crew of Firefly going back to Fox is like going back to an abusive relationship because, oh baby, don't worry, I've changed this time. That's not going to happen again. I would love to see Firefly come back, but I would hate to see it come back at the hands of Fox. I have said it before and I'm very standard. I think Fox is the devil. I think Fox is the literal devil. If there is, if there is a antichrist devil thing in reality. I, I think it's Fox. Those are just a few of the geekly trends going on this week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it so other people can join in the conversation. Follow me on all the internet. Check me out on templeofgeek.com to see content from me and other creators. If you like this video, check out my Patreon so you can support more of my future content and subscribe to my channel so we can geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun.